hi so here we have a figure and for this figure also we have to find the area so we actually have to find the area of a b c d it is a quadrilateral four vertices four sides so it is a quadrilateral but which kind of quadrilateral it is it has two interior angles as 90 degrees and nothing can be told about angle A and angle D except that their sum will be 180. So what to do? Okay, so let's do certain checks and then we will decide what figure this exactly is. So I'm going to extend the line DC till say point G and since this is 90 degree this will be 180 minus 90 90 degree right and now if we consider line DG and AB CB is a transversal where this angle GCB that means this angle and angle CBA that means this angle they are alternate angles and they are equal right so what we have proved we have proved that line DC is parallel to line AB right and a figure where one set of opposite lines are parallel is called trapezium right so what is ABCD ABCD is a trapezium right and what is the formula for the area of trapezium the formula for the area of trapezium is 1 by 2 sum of parallel lines multiplied by height right what we know here we know the length of parallel lines one is 21 centimeter and another one is 40 centimeter but what about height yes this BC is height but we don't know its length so first we will find out the length of BC so how to find this length if we see triangle B C D it is a right angle triangle isn't it it is a right angle triangle where this can be called as base and this can be called as perpendicular right this can be called as perpendicular and this is the hypotenuse so what is the Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem says hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square right so we know the length of hypotenuse we know the length of base so we can easily find the length of the perpendicular right so what will be the formula if we rearrange the terms we will get P square is equal to H square minus B square right yes the value of H is 29 and the value of B is 21 so if we substitute those values we will get 29 square minus 21 square this will be the square of perpendicular so if we use the formula of a square minus b square is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b so we will get 29 minus 21 multiplied by 29 plus 21 and this will be equal to 8 multiplied by 50 right which is equal to 400 right so P square is 400 so the value of perpendicular will be square root of 400 which is 20 centimeters centimeters right so this will be the height of the trapezium and now if we put the values of 
the length of the parallel sides and the height, we should be able to find the area of the trapezium, right? So let's do that. This will be equal to 1 by 2. Sum of the parallel lines is 40 plus 21. And height of the trapezium is, which we have recently calculated as 20 centimeters, right? Yes. So 2 ones are 2. 2 tens are 20. So this will be 40 plus 21, that is 61, multiplied by 10, which is 610 centimeter square, right? So this is the area of the trapezium.